Hey, what is up everybody? Welcome back to Skyrim. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and continue on with the main quest. But before we do that, I kind of want to go indict Fandel into the blades. So, I was looking into that a bit. You have to get three people, I think, to Delphine before the quest will progress at all. I think that's going to take us a while though, because uh, well, you can't indict Inigo into the blades. And I don't know when we're going to start getting more followers coming with us. I was thinking about getting another one, but uh, Inigo's like really... OP right now it seems like he really whoops ass and he uh he has a lot of health and stuff it seems like so I don't really want a new follower right now but maybe sometime in the future we'll get a new one I'm not just gonna invite like random people I want them to kind of like mean something like Fandle was our first follower so I think he deserves to be a blade all right so we're gonna do that very quickly and then all we have to do is talk to General Tullius and Ulfric Stormcloak should I read the quest thing I might as well uh while I'm doing this I'm gonna try to I'll go get Fandle while I'm reading this, actually. After oh, I defeated fine. Alduin on the Lead top the of the throat of the world, he fled from me. One of his dragon allies may be able to tell me where he's gone. I've learned the dragon's reach, the Jarl's palace in Whiterun, was once used to imprison a dragon. If I can arrange a truce in the Civil War, the Jarl of Whiterun has agreed to help me trap a dragon in Dragon's Reach. Then I can interrogate the dragon and learn the location of Alduin's lair, so I can finish him off once and for all. There's one more thing. We know about Parthenax. You know what? Parthenax, the dragon that the Greybeards have been protecting for all these years. He needs to die. He deserves to die. And it falls to you to kill him. Until he's dead. Well, I'm sorry, but we would dishonor our oaths as blades if we continue to help you. What do you have against the Greybeards? I brought someone to induct into the blades about Parthenax. What's so important about me being Dragonborn? About Parthenax. Make your choice, Dragonborn. You're either with us or against us. Why does he need to die? Here's the big picture. He helped Alduin enslave our ancestors. He may have betrayed Alduin in the end, but that makes him worse, not better. We can't afford to give Parthenax the opportunity to betray us in turn and return to his old master. I brought someone to induct into the blades. Are you sure? I'll need to ask them to take an oath to leave their old life behind and stay here from now on. I'm sure the blades need new members. Very well. He seems like a fighter to me. I'll give him the oath. If you find any more candidates, bring them here. All right, cool. So yeah, Indigo can't be a blade, but here comes Fandel. Are they gonna do the oath? By my honor, I pledge to rid Tamriel of dragons. All right. I don't see any oath going on here. I thought that there was like a whole little thing that they do. Well, anyway, we got one of our uh, people here. I'm a blade now. I can hardly believe it. Stay vigilant, friend. I feel like we're missing out on something. There should have been like some epic dialogue right there. I think. I don't know. I'm not sure if I've ever given anybody to the Blades. In other but, um, circumstances, this would be a wonderful place for a rowdy get-together. Alright, so anyway, now that that's done, we have one member of the Blade. I think you need two more, and then the story progresses a bit. Looks like we're going to have to kill Parthenax. So, that's going to be weird. Uh, uh, that explains what the something? whole Parthenax Dilemma mod does. I always wondered what the hell that was about. Never clicked on it and read it. It's a, uh... Really popular mod on the Nexus. Let's talk to Esbern real quick and see if he has anything yes. cool to say. What is it? Where has Alduin gone? Haven't you been listening to me? All the old tales agree that he has some means to travel to Sovngarde itself. There, he devours the souls of the heroic dead to feed his power. You must find his portal to Sovngarde. Before he returns, stronger than ever. About Parthenax. Justice can be harsh, but it is still justice. Parthenax deserves to die. Why does he need to die? Parthenax was the author of many atrocities during the Dragon War. Crimes great enough to be remembered for thousands of years. True, he turned traitor to Alduin and helped overthrow the Dragon Cult. But that does not excuse or expiate his previous deeds. Whether or not he has truly repented or merely acted to save himself, justice demands that he pay with his life. 
All right, cool. so that kind of sucks. I really like Parthenax, but if it's got to be done, it's got to be done. I think that we will go ahead and go do that next. Do we just go up there and just murder him? I think we do. Uh, what does this say? Delphine and Asburn have discovered that Parthenax was one of Alduin's chief allies during the ancient dragon war. They refuse to give me any more help until I kill Parthenax. Oh, that's kind of depressing. Where the hell's Vandal at? He just, like, walked off. Isn't he supposed to be like... Oh, there goes my torch. Damn, torches do not last long. Uh, I like how they look, though. I might get a new torch mod. I, I seen this really cool one on the Nexus. It's like... Uh, they're like different colored torches. They're like made out of metal, I think. I don't know. They're kind of cool. You have to like actually craft them and things like that. But they never burn out. So that's a plus. So I think I might get that. I don't really like this lantern for some reason. I don't know why. It just, it doesn't give you the same feel as holding a torch in your hand. All right. So let's go ahead and head up to the throat of the world and fight Parthenax. I was hoping that I could bring Fandel, but he's nowhere to be found. So... Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Actually, I'm gonna go through the balcony up here. I'll see if Fandel's out there, though. Fandel, you out here, dude? Damn it. Doesn't look like it. Alright, off to the Throat of the World. Alright, here we are at the Throat of the World. Hopefully the Greybeards aren't gonna be too pissed about this. About us killing Parthenax. I hope that they'll still help us, um, with that meeting. With the Civil War thing. Alright, so I'm gonna go over here and talk to Parthenax before we start fighting him and see if uh, he has any dialogue on it. Dremulok, greetings. The blades say you deserve to die. The blades are wise not to trust me. Onikan Miov, I would not trust another Dova. Why shouldn't they trust you? Dov Walan Farel. We were made to dominate. The will to power is in our blood. You feel it in yourself, do you not? I can be trusted. I know this, but they do not. Onikan Niov Dova. It is always wise to mistrust a Dova. I have overcome my nature only through meditation and long study of the way of the voice. No day goes by where I am not tempted to return to my inborn nature. Zimgriforvut se suyek. What is better, to be born good? or to overcome your evil nature through great effort. Huh. Sum Ark Mora. All right, well, you know, we got to do it. We're going to have to just fight him. That's kind of sad. It looks like he's changed. He's a changed dragon, but it is what it is. Let's go ahead and do this. And then we have, uh, what's that called? I don't even remember what the shout's called. That's called, uh, Dragon Ren. So I'll just go ahead and blast him with that. And then we start fighting him. I wonder if he fights back. Whoa. Does he really not fight back? Hey, you're not supposed to be flying. Hey, get your ass down here. Alright, there we go. Now he's fighting back, it looks like. Okay, hit him with one of those. Alright. He's pretty weak, actually. Shouldn't give us too much trouble here. Damn. Alright, well, it didn't feel good to kill him, but we've done it. We should probably go talk to Delphine. Uh, again, hopefully the gray beards don't mind too much. Like a big soul. I don't care what other people say. That does not look healthy. Are you going to be sick, my friend? No, I'm gonna be fine in a go. Alright, let's go talk to Delphine real quick. Ooh, Dragon Soul Absorbed. Alright, Delphine, I killed Parthenax. We have nothing to talk about until Parthenax is dead. Do the right thing. Parthenax deserves to die. Oh, Delphine, don't go in- Oh my god, Delphine. What a fool. Damn it. Alright, where's Esburn? I'll go talk to him real quick. Is he still out here? I could have swore I'd just seen him over here. Oh, here he is. Man, you kind of camouflage in there. Did you say something? Yes. About Parthenax. I wish there were another way, Dragonborn, but it falls to you to serve justice upon Parthenax. It's done. Parthenax is dead. At long last, an ancient evil is avenged. 
the shades of many blades salute you this day. Okay. Very oh, good. what? I wanted to talk to Delphine about that, not the old man. Damn it, Delphine. Why'd you have to come back in here? Where did she go? I'm never gonna find her now. Holy crap. I'll be right back when I find her. This place is huge. It's gonna take me a long time, probably. Alright, here she is. is She's it? in the uh, living quarters over here. Is Fandel in here as well, though? Ooh. Akvir's samurai armor. What the hell? Was this here all along and I just passed it? That's 66. What are we in? We are in 63, so this is actually better. I might take this. Huh. I wonder if that was here when we first showed up. I don't think it was. It was really dark in here, though, so it's hard to tell. Alright, let's uh, talk to Delphine. Hopefully she still what talks about Parthenax. What do you need, Dragonborn? Crap, she didn't talk about Parthenax. Alright, so what I'm going to do, I want to hear that dialogue. We heard what Esbern said. I'm going to load the autosave where I walked out of Skyhaven Temple, and then we'll talk to Delphine real quick, and then we'll come back here and grab this Akabiri armor, and then we will go speak to General Tolias and Ulfric Stormcloak, probably. We have nothing to talk about until Parthenax is dead. Alright there, I got her to stop now. Let's go ahead and talk about Parthenax. Have you decided to do the right thing, Dragonborn? Of course, it's done. Parthenax is dead. I knew we could count on you. Glad to have you back on our side. I like how you guys kicked me out, like, so quickly. Assholes. Alright, so yeah, that was Delphine's dialogue. And, uh, that's all that she has to say, really, that's interesting. Where is Fandel? I'm gonna laugh if he, we just go back to Riverwood, he's just, like, chopping wood over there. He's now a blade. <laughs> and then he's just over there still chopping his wood. Alright, so I'm gonna go in here and grab this Akaviri armor real quick. Oh my god. Fandel, buddy. Dragonborn, what do you need? You are looking great in that armor, my friend. That's so cool. Alright, so he's doing good. I feel like we should take him with us, but again, we're a little... We're getting a little OP. Especially, well, I say we. This guy's getting a little OP. He's like, getting all the kills, kicking all the ass. I'm just sitting back missing arrows. Alright, I'm gonna go grab that Akaviri armor real quick, and then we will fast travel to... Uh, what is it called? Windhelm, I think? That's where Ulfric Stormcloak is. Alright, here we are at Windhelm. Let's go ahead and enter here. I don't think we've ever gone into the city, have we? No, we haven't. Alright, yeah, this is our first time going in here. Looks really cool out here. I love this city. It looks great. You come here where you're not wanted. You eat our food, you pollute our city with your stink, and you refuse to help the Stormcloaks. But we haven't taken a side because it's not our fight. Hey, maybe the reason these Grayskins don't help in the war is because they're Imperial spies. Imperial spies? You can't be serious. We ought to dig a big hole. I was one of the so best soldiers dark in the elves and Argonians in it. And let them tear each other to pieces. Go peddle your hatred elsewhere, you intolerant idiot. Yeah, so the thing about Windhelm is you really see how racist the Nords can be. This is why I chose to go with uh, Hadvar in the beginning of the game, just because if you go with the Stormcloaks, like their whole thing is just really racist. They hate every other race. They want everybody out of Skyrim. So, uh, being a wood elf, I can't really side with them. I have to side with the Imperials. Alright, Palace of the Kings discovered. Oh, I, uh, got that Akaviri armor. Let's go ahead and put that on really quickly. Probably not a great idea to be wearing Imperial armor in a Stormcloak place. Uh, yeah, let's put this on and see how it looks. It looks really rusty, actually. Eh, it doesn't look half bad. I don't really like that mask, but... I don't know. It's kind of cool. Okay. So yeah, that is a definite upgrade for us. And now we have a helmet on. We didn't have one on before. Let's go ahead and go in here and talk to Ulfric. Ulfric won't give us a straight answer. I've spent my life serving He's a towns. true Nord. I don't... Plan I'm to around. Stop now, no what don't the be so sure said. of that. We've intercepted couriers from some... What the hell? They were having a conversation he and he was in there. <laughs> he was out here. Alright, I'm just going to interrupt this and talk to Ulfric. And what would you... Only the foolish or the courageous approach a Jarl without summons. Do I know you? He looks so ridiculous in these shoes. Look at that. They're like bare feet. Uh, I believe we've already met. I was at Helgen. I have a message from the Greybeards. It's about time they turned their gaze from the heavens back to our bleeding homeland. What do they want? They want to negotiate a truce until the dragon menace is dealt with. I have the greatest respect for the Greybeards, of course. And the dragon attacks are a growing plague. But the political situation is still delicate. Not all the Jarls are fully committed to supporting me as High King. I can't afford to appear weak. 
I can't agree to this unless Tullius himself will be there. Okay, General Tullius hasn't agreed to attend yet. Politics be damned, Alduin has returned. Let's try that just so we can get some speech XP. Alduin, the world eater of song and legend. If that's true, well, it changes the situation, doesn't it? Even Tullius may be forced to talk sense in the face of such a threat. So you'll come to the Peace Council? Yes. I'll give Tullius one more chance to quit Skyrim with his tail between his legs. If he's not with us, he's against us. Okay, he now we have to go that. speak to... Know that. Who the hell are you? I spent my life serving Talos. I don't plan to stop now, no matter what the Empire says. If by message Alright, now we gotta go to Solitude and talk to General Tullius, I believe. Is that still on the list? Yes, it is. Alright, so we're gonna do that. Taking it. Alright, here we are in Solitude. I think General Tullius is just up these steps. It doesn't matter how many times you ask. Yeah, I think that he's in like a military building up here. If I remember correctly. Whoa, what the hell is going on here? There's a lot of uh, guards out here. Yeah, here he is. Castle Dower. Pine Moon Cave is down to the southwest. But it ain't fit for exploring. There are stories. Vampires, some say. I'm telling you. Map Alfred's updated. Plan Let's check where that is. Uh, is it this? No, that's a bone altar. Oh, must be this down here. Yep, that's it. Maybe we'll go down there. I need to kill some, like, elves and get some bones and stuff for our conjuration thing. So maybe we'll start doing, like, some dungeons or something. All right, let's go ahead and interrupt General Tullius and talk to him. Are my men now giving free reign to anyone who wanders into the castle? Yeah, dude, I just walked in here. Do you have some reason to be here, citizen? Wow, you look concerned. Uh, I have a message from the Greybeards. The Greybeards? What do those old hermits want with me? They want me to kill you. Just kidding. They're convening a peace council at High Hrothgar. Why? There's nothing to discuss as long as that traitor Ulfric is in arms against his rightful emperor. Can we get some persuasion points? Damn it, we can't. We need a truce until the dragon menace is dealt with. Oh, maybe we they can. They are getting to be a problem. But I wasn't sent to Skyrim to fight dragons. My job is to quell this rebellion, and I intend to do just that. Dragons or no dragons. Alright, cool. We can persuade him. The dragons are bigger are a bigger problem than the Stormcloaks right now. Persuade. I'll be the judge of that. Damn it. Besides, by all reports, the Stormcloaks are suffering just as much as we are from these dragon attacks. Uh, the best time to negotiate is from a position of strength. Ulfric has already agreed to attend. Fair enough. We're driving the Stormcloaks back well enough at the moment, but we're already overstretched. That's what comes of trying to win a war with a bare handful of legions. If the Ember would just give me the reinforcements I've requested. Uh, why won't the Emperor send more reinforcements? Most of the Legion is tied down on the border with the Aldmeri Dominion. The Emperor can't afford to risk weakening Cyrodiil's defenses. From the Imperial City, our war here is just a sideshow. An interlude before the main event against the Thalmor resumes. Damn. So you'll come to the Peace Council then? Yes, yes, fine. I'll come to this Greybeard Council. For all the good it will do. Alright, thanks. You seem like it's a reasonable not a cause. dude. It's a rebellion. Call it whatever you like. Yeah, we'll be back here eventually to do the Civil War questline. Let's go ahead and go back and talk to Arangar. Again, hopefully he's not pissed that we killed Parthenax. Alright, here we are. Let's see what this. Oh. They just got hit in the head with that almost. Uh, let's see what this peace council is about. Are the, uh, Ulfric and Tullius guy here? Doesn't look like it. Oh! Delphine, what are you doing here? We should get started. Alduin is only getting stronger. Wait, who's over here then? Is it Esbern? No, nobody. Alright, let's, uh, let's do this thing then. So, you've done it. The men of violence are gathered here in these halls whose very stones are dedicated to peace. I should not have agreed to host this council. The Greybeards have no business involving ourselves in such matters. Don't worry, I'll get them to agree to peace. Uh, this was the only way to get Balgriff's help. I'll go with this one. Don't worry, I'll get them to agree to peace. Peace? <laughs> I doubt it. 
They may put their weapons down for a moment, but only to gather strength for the next bloodletting. Yeah, you're probably They're right. not yet tired of war. Far from it. Do you know the ancient Nord word for war? Season unending. And so it has proved. But regrets are pointless. Here we are. Take your seat at the council table, and let us see what wisdom we can find among these warriors of Skyrim. Alright, where's the uh, council table at? Back here somewhere? Yeah, it looks like it's back here somewhere. Are you guys gonna take like all day to uh, there is no need to make your way over? Oh, sorry, so, Inigo, I didn't mean to push you. Arn gear, is it? You know why we're here. Are you going to let us in or not? You are not invited here. You are not welcome here. We have as much right to be at this council as all of you. More, actually, since we were the ones that put the Dragonborn on this path. I know what path you set her on. And now Parthenax's wisdom is lost to us, just when we need it most. She did what had to be done. It was long overdue. My only regret is that I wasn't able to kill him myself. Delphi, we're not here to rehearse old grudges. The matter at hand is urgent. Aldrin must be stopped. You wouldn't have called this council if you didn't agree. We know a great deal about the situation and the threat that Aldrin poses to us all. You need us here if you want this council to succeed. Is that everything? Uh, very well. You may enter. Hooray. <laughs> Alright, so we got our Blades buddies here. No Fandle, though. Man, you guys should have brought Fandle. You can't just leave him there. He's gonna get lonely. Alright, these guys are gonna... Whoa. Did you, uh, get stuck there, Delphine? These guys are gonna take forever to get back to this table. I'm not sure how long we've been going. Uh, I'm, I think we'll have time to go ahead and do this thing real quick. I don't think this is very long. I wouldn't suppose it would be very long. Oh, everybody's here. Ellenwyn? You're all Bulgriff? Tullius? You're all Elisif, the Fair, and Legget Ricky or whatever. Ricket? I don't know how to say her name. Galmar Stonefist? Ulfric Stormcloak? Alright, where do I sit? Oh, here's my seat. Whoa. And go watch out. Alright, let's go ahead and take a seat here after a quick save. Now that everyone is here, please take your seats so we can begin. Hurry up and sit down. I hope that we have all come no. here in the spirit you of- you insult us by bringing her to this negotiation? Your chief Talos hunter? That didn't take long. Diplomatic. Here, here. I have every right to be at this negotiation. I need to ensure that nothing is agreed to here that violates the terms of the White Gold Concordat. She's part of the Imperial delegation. You can't dictate who I bring to this council. Please, if we have to negotiate the terms of the negotiation, we will never get anywhere. Perhaps this would be a good time to get the Dragonborn's input on this matter. By Izmir's beard, the nerve of those Imperial bastards, eh? To think that I would sit down at the same table with that. Thou more bitch, either she walks or I do. Oh, you're right, the Thalmor have no business here. What's the harm besides Tolias doesn't really want her here either? Let's go with this bottom one. I don't want to, like, pick sides here. Maybe so, but bringing her here is a deliberate provocation. Tolias needs to know I won't be pushed around. I agree, this will set the tone for the whole negotiation. Elowen should go. Let Tolias have his way on this. He'll have to give ground later? Yeah, we'll go with that. Hmm. It feels like a mistake to me, but I'll bow to your judgment on this. But she is to observe, nothing more. We are not negotiating with her. Is that clear? Ulfric, why so hostile? After all, it's not the Thalmor that's burning your farms and killing your sons. She's supposed to be on our you side? No, exactly. No. Not this time. Now that that's settled, may we proceed? I have something to say first. Here we go. The only reason I agreed to attend this council was to deal with the dragon menace. There's nothing else to talk about. 
Unless the Empire is finally ready to renounce its unjust claim to rule over the free people of Skyrim. I knew he wouldn't We're be able to resist. A temporary truce to allow the Dragonborn here to deal with the dragons, nothing more. I consider even talking to the Empire a generous gesture. Are you done? Did you just come here to make speeches, or can we get down to business? Yes, let's get this over with. Are we ready to proceed? Jarl Ulfric, General Tullius, this council is unprecedented. We are gathered here at the Dragonborn's request. I ask that you all respect the spirit of High Hrothgar, and do your best to begin the process of achieving a lasting peace in Skyrim. Who would like to open the negotiations? Yes, let's get down to it. We want control of Markarth. That's our price for agreeing to a truce. So that's why you're here, Ulfric? You dare to insult the Greybeards by using this council to advance your own position? Jarl Elisif. General, this is outrageous. You can't be taking this demand seriously. I thought we were here to discuss a truce. Elisif, I said I'd handle it. Ulfric, you can't seriously expect us to give up Markarth at the negotiating table. You hope to gain in council what you've been unable to take in battle, is that it? I'm sure Jarl Ulfric does not expect something for nothing. Yes, that'd be entirely what out of character. I want in return? Wait, General, you don't intend to just hand over Markarth to that... traitor? This is how the Empire repays us for our loyalty? Enough! First, let's be clear. This council wasn't my idea. I think it's a waste of time. You are a traitor to the Empire, and deserve a traitor's death. But I at least will negotiate in good faith. Since we're all here at your request, I'd like to hear what you think Markarth is worth. How about Riften? <laughs> Dancer seems like a fair trade. Huh. I don't know what the repercussions of this will be. Let's give him Dawnstar. Dawnstar is kind of a piece of crap. So, we'll give him that. In exchange for Markarth, the source of most of Skyrim silver. Hardly. Riften seems like a better choice to me. Well fortified, easily resupplied from across Lake Honric. Plus all the mead we can drink. Oh, we get Riften? Huh, yeah, let's take Riften. You're right. Riften is a fair trade for Markarth. I'm glad you agree. I was starting to wonder whose side you were on here. I'm secretly on your side. You heard what she said, Ulfric. We've made you a fair offer. Are you serious about these talks, or are you just here to posture? I expected better from you, Dragonborn. I came here in good faith. And now it seems you held the Empire What the hell are you attack. talking about? As for you, General Tullius, I see now that Garmar was right. Talking to the Empire is just as useless as ever. If you think you can hold Markarth, you're as deluded as your Emperor when he signed away our freedom to the Thalmor. Skyrim will never again bow to your false empire. Fight, fight. Let's go, Galmar. I should have listened to you in the first place. You always were a fool, Ulfric. You're no better at diplomacy than you are in the battlefield. Stop! Are you so blind to our danger that you can't see past your pity disagreements? Here you sit arguing about nothing, while the fate of the land hangs in the balance. Is he with you, Delphine? If so, I advise you to tell him to watch his tongue. He is with me. And I advise you both to listen to what he has to say before you do anything rash. Don't you understand the danger? Don't you understand what the return of the dragons means? Alduin has returned, the world eater. Even now he devours the souls of your fallen comrades. He grows more powerful with every soldier slain in your pointless war. Can you not put aside your hatred for even one moment in the face of this mortal danger? A very pretty speech. But what does Shut it have up. to do with a- If he's right about Alduin, we both have just as much to lose here, Tullius. Remember that. Now, back to the matter at hand. Oh my god, can oh, we get on with it? me a mug of sheep's piss and call it meat. These terms are still not acceptable. I'm sure you have something in mind. Damn right we do. 
You surrender Falkreath to us. Sidgir steps down, and Dangir of Stun resumes the Yarlship. Where do these demands stop, Ulfric? Do you expect me to surrender all of Skyrim? It seems I have no choice but to let the Dragonborn decide. Although I'm starting to doubt your fairness. What say you, Dragonborn? Dude, if I give you Falkreath, if I get, let that guy be the Earl of Falkreath, will I be able to buy a house there still? I don't know. The Empire doesn't need to give up any more territory. I agree the Empire should turn over Falkreath. Let's go with this bottom one. <sighs> Even the Dragonborn betrays Skyrim. These terms are not acceptable. You know that. I'm listening. Don't play dumb, Tullius. Bah, this is a waste of time. I can see that we won't get better terms from this council. So be it. The sons of Skyrim at least put the greater good above our own interests. It seems we may have an agreement. Jarl Ulfric, General Tullius, these are the terms currently on the table. Markarth will be handed over to Ulfric's forces, Jarl Igmund will step down, and Thangvor Silverblood will become the Jarl of Markarth. The Stormcloaks will withdraw from the Rift, allowing Imperial troops unhindered access. Jarl Leila Lawgiver will step down, and Maven Blackbriar will become the Jarl of Riften. Oh, damn. You both agree to this? I shouldn't agree to terms that so blatantly favor the Empire. I have no choice, though, under the circumstances. But once Aldwin is defeated, then it will be the Empire's turn. Remember Evgir Unslad. You should be pleased, Elisif. You've done well for yourself as the Empire's pet yarn. But beware, the Empire's loyalty is fickle. They will tire of this war, and then I will be the one dictating terms to you. I have nothing to say to that murderer. General, you've proven yourself a good friend to Skyrim. I continue to trust that you will do your utmost to safeguard our interests. Thank you, Jarl Elisif. I appreciate your loyalty. The Empire can live with these terms, yes, for a temporary truce, until the Dragon Menace is dealt with. After that, Ulfric, there will be a reckoning. Count on it. Come on, come All right. On. We have a lot of work to do. So it looks like we got a temporary truce. It's a heavy price for this truce, Dragonborn. Get the Greybeards to help in negotiating a truce. Learn, shout to call Gal Odin. Vink? Who the hell's that? I assume you are familiar with the Dragonborn's plan. Yes, I'm ready to do my part. Just say the word, and my men will help you spring this trap. But the difficulty remains: how to lure a dragon to Dragon's Reach at all? Well, that's an excellent question. You haven't overlooked that little detail, have you? Ah, I believe I can be of help here. I anticipated the problem. While you were arranging this meeting, I was busy in the library of Skyhaven Temp, an unguessed trove of lost lore. But the important thing is that the Blades recorded many of the names of dragons they slew. Cross-referencing this with Delphine's map of dragon burial sites, I believe I've identified one of the dragons that Alduin has raised up. How does that help us? Uh, don't you see? The names of dragons are always three words of power. Shouts! By calling the dragon with a voice, he will hear you wherever he might be. Why would he come when called? He's not compelled to, but dragons are prideful by nature and loath to refuse a challenge. Your voice in particular is likely to intrigue this dragon. After your victory over Aldrin, I think it's very likely that he will be unable to resist investigating your call. So what's this dragon's name? Ah, indeed. I'm no master of the voice, like these worthy gentlemen. But it is written here, in this scroll. Oda Ving, winged snow hunter, as I read it. I'm glad you were able to negotiate a truce, but I don't trust Ulfric. He'll break his word as soon as it suits him. Alright, wow. So a lot of stuff went on there. Uh, I feel like this episode's been going for a long time. Oh. Face again when he had to swallow the terms of the truce. 
Yeah, this episode's gone on long enough. Prepare the trap for... What's that guy's name? Oden Ving. Alright, so we will do that next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you next time.